Good morning, everyone. Here we are, back in my apartment for our very last day of filming What If, a transgender rom-com. I am so, I'm gonna be so sad to see this one go. The last couple days of my life, well, the last couple months have been involved with this project, but the last couple days especially have been like an obsession, finding it, living it. Um, and Dan is here already, one of our PAs. First person to arrive this bright, early Memorial Day morning. Yeah, well, everyone else is barbecuing in Central Park. We're gonna be filming in my Brooklyn apartment. But it's okay, because we're also representing Ohio, so my mother would be proud. I'm rambling and tired. I'm gonna go focus and as everyone arrives, and then we'll check in with you throughout the day. Bye, guys. All right, so people are starting to arrive. We're a little late, we're running behind, but it doesn't matter, it's our last day of filming. It's all my solo stuff, all the other actors have wrapped. It makes me sad, it makes me so sad. Um, but I already had a little conversation with Buck this morning on his uh, live. Everyone should watch Hold B on, Cup on, Live. Um, it's something that Buck does all, he tries to do every morning uh, with his morning coffee. He has a little B on the cup and he talks about um, issues in the LGBT community and trans activism. And it's actually very, very fun to watch and also very educational and sometimes um, inspiring and angering because uh, of the things he talks about. Um, so definitely I would say watch it. But back to filming What If. We have Luigi cutting some of our fresh baked challah from the kosher grocery store downstairs at my apartment. A little shout out to Chestnut. Thank you for unwittingly catering our filming today. And we're gonna walk through here and we have Derek, our first AD, with his coffee. What's up? Coming out of my bedroom. I don't know why this just suddenly went out of focus. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Now we're in focus. Hi Derek. Howdy. Hi. Okay. How do you feel about our last day of filming? Well, I'm very excited for this last day. Yeah? And it's raining, so that's perfect. Great, and we were gonna do exterior shots, and now we're not. Yes. Economy! Mm -hmm. Low budget films, everyone. Hashtag low budget. <laughs> <laughs> we have our art director and his friends are back again, eating his BLT, because apparently our crafty and bagels aren't good enough for him. <laughs> he already had the challah, little piggy. <laughs> Whatever, I had breakfast, and then, then I ate more challah, and I'm the one who has to be naked on this goddamn film. Not really naked, but, well, maybe. We'll see what Francisca does. <laughs> <laughs> If I know him at all, right? So we are literally setting up the very first shot of the day, and Francesca and I were talking about Debbie and how much we miss her, but really about the character's face popping up as caller ID. So as, seriously, as we were talking about trying to stalk her Facebook page and find some crazy funny photo that would fit the character, I get this. How apropos. I love you, Debbie. This is how our art director works. He brings in friends who volunteer their time. And, and, they work and then you. he says, what, what did you just say to them before I turn this on? You're doing a beautiful job. Keep it going. Oh, look at the motivational powers of this man. I mean, look at that face. Who wouldn't work for him? Come on now. We're between, oh, she's too pretty. Get pretty for her. Oh, she's already gorgeous. She's gonna have to get pretty. She's like, my hair, my hair, my hair. Right? She's making me pretty. We are between takes. I'm getting touched up. Because I'm not pretty without this. I know I'm self-deprecating. Liar. Stop saying. Liar. <laughs> uh, but this is a weird scene. We're doing take after take after take of. But it's because we're getting different shots and they're varying degrees of close-up. So sometimes they have me like nipple up. And sometimes like the frame is here and here. So every time it's a different style of acting, different skill, different size, and it's just so weird trying to get in and out of all of that. And those of you who know me know I'm primarily a theater actor, and I find this stuff in rehearsals, so I'm actually having a lot of fun. And it's also very frustrating <laughs> trying to figure out how to do all this and have the exact same energy to tell the story with the right flow when you shoot out of order. And I've done films like this and, and, and web series and stuff where we shot out of order, but never anything quite so back and forth like this. Like in one day we were shooting page 10 and page one. Um, so it's, it's an interesting experience and I love it. I love this. So thank you Francisco for making me a part of this, trusting me with your baby. Thank you Barbara for making me pretty. She even went through and did makeup on my arms because they didn't match. Apparently I'm only half tanned. <laughs> I'm so white, I'm such a white boy. It's awful.
So we're having some technical difficulties figuring out how to put a Facebook oh, profile man. without showing all my yeah, friend list. You're welcome, all my friends, so I don't throw you in a movie. But while we're doing this, I'm wandering around and I realized that we left our cups from our shoot yesterday. And I asked Francisco, can I have them? Because anyone who knows me knows I am a huge, huge coffee drinker. Now we have fake bourbon in these, or scotch rather. But... I have some new coffee cups. Yeah! What do you think of that, Hector? New coffee cups. I have new coffee cups. I'm getting to keep them. They're also awesome. getting coffee cups. I think it's a great idea. And even with David, we've been talking what else we would put into a, uh, a feature film. What? So Did you hear um, that, guys? I don't want to give any spoilers. But we have been talking about after the short is done. And Buck was talking about it, too, when he was here the other day. We were talking with Debbie. And there is a possibility that we might be trying to lengthen this into a feature. Because, according to Francisco, every single person involved with the show, this film... Sorry, I'm such a theater guy. I keep saying show. Every single time that someone read the script or said, I'm on board, or sees us filming, it has come from every which way that maybe this should be a feature length. So we are toying with the idea of keeping this um, short as is and then adding around it and letting it be the jump off point for a feature. So whether that's gonna happen or not, I don't know. But he is on the phone right now with Debbie because she gave him the most amazing idea to make this a feature and how we can help flesh it out and give Michelle a little bit of a subplot. What do you think, Hector? Would you like, I don't even know if we are, we're both in frame. Are we both in frame? You're in frame. So uh, what do you think? What would happen if we made this a feature? Would you be back on board? Of course. How about you guys? Would you come back if we did this a fe made this a feature? Excuse oh my me, god. Be. What? <laughs> She's like, hello, Miss Sass. <laughs> She's like, um, why is anyone else going to be here but me? <laughs> I love it. That is so fucking exciting. Okay, guys, so we just finished what I think was probably my most difficult shot in the entire film. Not emotionally, but technically, because I am not a film actor. And I just learned so much on this. So much. And I feel so bad that I just held these guys up uh, in production. But I think they got the shot they needed. I yes, hope they got the did. shot they needed. And now it is time for lunch, because I am hungry. So guys, I just have to say that sometimes film is really frustrating. <laughs> oh my god, I do. I feel like, um, I feel like I've had lots of moments today that if, they had been done on stage, I could have gotten away with it, not necessarily been happy with my performance, but been okay with it. And and they're trying to be all reassuring, and the self-doubter in me goes, no, we just spent too much time on it, and they didn't get what they needed, but I trust Francisco, and he tells me they got what they needed. I wish I were giving more, but I'm also giving everything I have. It's just not coming out the way that I intended, and that's the roadblock, right? That's the roadblock for an actor between what you intend and what you plan and then being in the moment and let things happen organically and those things are always clashing they're always fighting and at odds with each other sometimes that when they don't line up and sometimes you need to just surrender and let the moment happen and i feel like i'm having trouble doing that today but i think we got some good stuff so like crossed. you're gonna be great and we we wish you all the best and i can't believe oh my god we're starting to say goodbye to people this is insane okay have a good night dan get home safely okay. and maybe when this turns into a feature we'll see you again either that or he has to switch all the names on the credits yeah if anything i'll maybe i'll pop up as a cameo in the future <laughs> oh my god we're so gonna put you in a gay bar <laughs> we're gonna be like, it's gonna be like the thumpy like dunka 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 and dan's gonna be there with that broad chest and just I don't boom, know what boom Boom, boom, like fucking he's gonna be I don't my girlfriend. I don't know if my girlfriend's gonna like that. <laughs> it's called acting. Bye, Dan. How you get home cool. safe? And this is Derek. What's up? Taking off. First AD. How you doing? First AD. <laughs> taking off. Appreciate it. Ah! Everyone's leaving. I can't believe this. Okay, we still have one more shot, actually. Outside. Yeah, are you coming with us for the no, exterior? Not actually. See, so we are saying goodbye. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, man, I for the work. You. No, thank you. You're thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. Okay, huh, this is gonna be, uh, but no, I can't cry yet, we still have another show. No, now that. comes the next heartbreak. <laughs> oh, Saying goodbye to the woman who has been making me pretty <laughs> for four days. <laughs> making me so pretty. <laughs> it's a very easy job because she's already no, pretty we without you. makeup. I don't want to see you now. Well, it's not no one's going to be here tomorrow, so I mean, we're seeing everyone go, but I still don't want to see you. You don't need to see you. Just look at the video every day, and I am next to you. Every day, I will look. You know what? I don't need the video, because 
See where you were just touching? That's my heart. <laughs> and that's where you are. You're so beautiful. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I hate saying, I hate the end of things. Francisco has a lot more to do. It's and then, then we're going to have a big premiere. And what, what's the name of the theater doing the premiere at Francisco? Oh, uh, we may do something with um, the uh, LGBT museum in Soho. Yes. Um, I, f I forget the name right now. My brain is fried. Oh, but no. We may do a premiere over there. And Leslie Loem. Leslie Loem um, Museum. Okay. Sorry. I know you didn't say it, but I heard Lindsay Lohan. No. <laughs> We're Leslie, doing the Lindsay Leslie Lohan, Lohan LGBT Lohan. Museum. Yes. No. What, was it Leslie Lohan, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So, <laughs> I may be wrong. I'm just so exhausted. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll put a little caption if we're wrong go. about what That's it might it. be. That's what we're And um, you sent me an email with the name, right? At one point. Course, so I'll go hunting yeah. through the emails and hopefully I'll find it. If not, it'll be a big surprise when we do a premiere. But we're on the way to the last, last shot of the night. Mm. Cisco in tears. <laughs> Because we we, uh, we wrapped. just wrapped, what if yeah. a transgender rom com that asks, what happens when you run out of reasons to say no to your heart? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, I, I wasn't gonna do this. I was fine. I was fine when I hit record. And now I'm about so to pretty soon it. we're gonna be in post. Yeah. And, and we're gonna add ones. music. Yeah. And we're gonna edit. And you're gonna cut every scene where I look ugly, so the movie's gonna be about three <laughs> seconds long. No, no, no. And no, no, no. You know what? Actually, and I, I love that I get to say this on video. I've been saying this to, to people who have asked me about you know my acting techniques and stuff for years. Whenever somebody asks me any questions, it comes up. I had an acting teacher in at Kane University named Gail Winar, and I love Gail to death. And one thing she said about actors, and it was so true for some of these scenes in this movie. She was as an actor, you can't be afraid to be ugly. Because ugly isn't real life. Ugly is pretty looking not pretty. <laughs> ugly is real. Yeah. And if you're gonna dive into a character and another acting teacher of mine in high school, Mr. Higgins and Douglas Anderson, used to always say Act, um, theater, or film in this case, is about ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. So we relate to them, but otherwise why would we care unless something wonderful and extraordinary was happening, yeah. right? Yeah. So between something extraordinary happening to these characters, i.e. me, <laughs> and, and not being afraid to be ugly, I have taken these lessons to heart, and I think they crafted a young actor that turned into the man here with you. And I hope that we created something as beautiful as it is ugly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's going to be what if. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you on the other side. Thank and you. we'll answer some questions at the film festival. <laughs>